This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Family Mart in Harajuku. 30 Recommended Foods. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro. Hi, I'm Akane Maru. This video is about the family mart in Harajuku. We'll introduce 30 items, including popular frozen foods and the frappe. At the end of the video, we will feature a ranking of recommended items we'd love for you to try, so don't miss it! Now, now let's, let's get, get started. started! We have arrived at Harajuku Station. This time, we'll introduce these nine sections. Alright, let's head to our destination. This is the Takeshita exit of Harajuku Station. By the way, right in front of the Takeshita exit, you'll find Takeshita Street, where the most people gather in Harajuku. When shopping and enjoying a food tour on Takeshita Street, using this exit is convenient. The store we are introducing this time is located at the entrance of Takeshita Street. This is a Family Mart Harajuku Takeshita Exit Store. Family Mart is a highly popular convenience store with over 16,000 stores in Japan and more than 7,700 stores overseas. There are a wide variety of items, but this time, we'll mainly introduce private brand items from Family Mart. These are items you can only find at Family Mart, so when you come to Japan, be sure to give them a try. Now, let's introduce some of the hot snacks available at the checkout counter. The first one is the Famichiki, which is the flagship product of Family Mart. This is a super popular fried chicken that has sold over 1.7 billion pieces since it was released in 2006. The crispy coating has just the right amount of black pepper spiciness. It's made with chicken thigh meat, so it's juicy. It's boneless, so it's easy to eat. At Family Mart, they also sell buns for making Fami Chiki burgers. It contains tartar sauce inside. It's nice to be able to enjoy a satisfying fried chicken burger at an affordable price. Next, we'll introduce the Chinese bun. At Family Mart, they sell five different types of Chinese buns, but the most popular one is this pork bun. The dough is fluffy and has a chewy texture. Inside, there is juicy pork seasoned with salt. You can taste the sweetness of onions. It's an authentic pork bun, just like the one you would eat in Chinatown. Next, we will have the beef croquette. They fry it in the store so you can enjoy it piping hot. The fat of ground beef makes the potato even more delicious. It has a nice aroma of black pepper. When you put sauce on it, it becomes even richer in flavor. It's nice that it's an affordable price. Next, we will introduce the Famikara. It's a Japanese-style fried chicken seasoned with soy sauce. The outside is crispy and the inside is juicy. It has a strong soy sauce seasoning and you can also taste the flavor of garlic and ginger. The flavor has soaked inside and it's delicious! Now, let's introduce some frozen food. First up, we'll have frozen tsukemen. This is a popular frozen food created through a collaboration between Ganja, a famous tsukemen shop in Kawagoe, known for its long lines, and Family Mart. It takes a little effort to prepare, but you can easily enjoy the taste of a restaurant at home. The thick noodles are satisfying to eat, and they have a pleasant aroma of wheat. The soup has the aroma of fish powder, giving it an authentic taste. It has a rich seafood flavor. It's great that it has Naruto and Chashu pork. The Chashu pork is fatty and melts in your mouth. 
The noodles have a chewy texture and it's addictive. It goes well with the rich soup. It's a recommended frozen food that's worth trying. The next item is okonomiyaki. It comes on a tray, so you don't need a plate. You can easily prepare it, even at your accommodation, like a hotel. It comes with sauce, bonito flakes, and aonori seaweed. The sauce has a spicy and nice aroma. You can taste the sweetness of shrimp and squid. The batter is fluffy, and the crispy texture of cabbage has a nice accent. It contains yam, so you can enjoy a texture similar to what you would experience at a restaurant. The next one is a rice burger. It's a popular item made with beef sandwiched between round-shaped rice buns. The sweet aroma of the sauce stimulates your appetite. The beef is juicy and has a melt-in-your-mouth texture. The sauce contains apple juice, so it's sweet and fruity. It's so good that you wouldn't believe it's from a convenience store. From here on, we will introduce five recommended sweets. The first one is the milk cream puff. The cream in this cream puff uses more milk than usual. The pastry has a light texture and you can taste the sweetness of the eggs. The cream inside has a rich milk flavor. It's the natural sweetness of the milk, not the sweetness of sugar. The aftertaste is refreshing. Next up is a crepe filled with matcha cream. This size is small and easy to eat, making it popular among women. The crepe batter is thick and has a chewy texture. The matcha cream inside has an authentic bitterness and a nice aroma. There are small cookies coated with sugar inside, adding a nice texture and sweetness as an accent. Next, we will have the cheese tart. It uses plenty of butter in the tart crust, so it has a wonderful aroma. The cheese is creamy and melts in your mouth. The rich cheese and the crispy tart crust are a perfect match. It tastes just as authentic as a specialty dessert shop. Next, we will introduce a Japanese-style dessert. There is whipped cream, azuki beans, and sticky rice balls. It also looks cute. The sticky rice balls have a chewy texture that's addictive. The azuki beans are not too sweet. You can taste their natural sweetness. The Japanese flavor of azuki beans and the creamy whipped cream are a nice combination. It's a dessert that makes you want to have a cup of hot matcha. Next, we will have the French cruller. It's a donut made by frying choux pastry and coating it with chocolate. It has a sweet aroma of chocolate. The pastry has a light and soft texture with a subtle flavor of egg. Inside, there is whipped cream and it has a creamy texture. It's a recommended donut for those who like sweet things. Next, we'll introduce onigiri and cup noodles. First, let's start with a miso-flavored cup ramen. It's a private brand product, so it's nice that the price is affordable. Finally, add the spicy oil, mix well, and it's ready. It has a spiciness of red pepper, but the umami and the sweetness of miso make it delicious. The noodles are thin and coat well with the soup. There are plenty of vegetables like chives, cabbage, carrots, and more in the soup, which give it a nice texture. The next one is yakisoba. It's a classic Japanese noodle dish seasoned with sauce. After draining the water well, put the sauce on the noodles. Once the noodles are well coated with the sauce, add karashi mustard at the end, and it's done. The sauce has some spices, so it has a nice aroma. The noodles have a nice, chewy texture. The sauce also contains fruits like apples, so it has a slight sweetness. 
The subtle spiciness of the karashi mustard enhances the flavor. Next, let us introduce Spam Musubi. Japanese omelette and lunch meat are sandwiched between rice and seaweed. The texture and richness of the lunch meat enhance the flavor. The omelette is fluffy. Inside, there's tuna mayonnaise, giving it a creamy and rich flavor. The size is big, making it satisfying to eat. Next up is the hamburger steak sushi. On top of vinegared rice, there's a hamburger steak. The sweet sauce and the vinegared rice go well together. There's mayonnaise inside, giving it a mild flavor. This is a unique item you won't find at other convenient stores. Next, we'll have the seaweed roll. The seaweed is packaged to keep it from getting soft due to moisture so you can enjoy a crispy texture. The seaweed and vinegared rice have a nice aroma. Inside, there's negitoro that has fat and melts in your mouth. It's seasoned with soy sauce, so the saltiness is just right. The texture of the green onions has a nice accent. Next, we will introduce six varieties of ice cream and snacks. First up is the Monaka ice cream sandwich. It's larger than the regular items and satisfying. The crispy texture of the Monaka is nice. The ice cream inside has a natural sweetness from the milk. This ice cream is recommended for those who like a simple flavor because it doesn't contain ingredients like chocolate. Next, we will introduce a frappe that you can only find at Family Mart. You need to gently press the cup containing the frappe to soften the ice inside. Once you have opened the lid, place it on the coffee machine in the store and press the frappe button. After mixing the hot milk and ice well, a coffee-flavored frappe is ready. The subtle bitterness of the coffee and the sweetness of the milk are a perfect match. The fine texture of the ice is nice. By the way, this frappe is available in various flavors for a limited time. You won't be able to find it at other convenience stores, so be sure to give it a try. Next up, we will have popcorn. It's coated with chocolate and chocolate chips. The sweetness of chocolate fills your mouth. It's crunchy popcorn and the crispy texture of the chocolate chips are delightful. The next item is sea urchin flavored rice crackers. It has pleasant aroma of sea urchin and soy sauce. These rice crackers are fried, so they have a crispy and light texture. It's a delicious flavor, with the rich aroma of sea urchin filling your mouth. The next one is the mini lumand. It's a layer of grapes baked together and coated with coca cream. The aroma of cocoa and the sweetness of the cream go well with the crispy crepe. The crepe layers have a light texture, making you feel like you can eat as many as you want. The next item we're introducing is a potato snack. It's seasoned with truffle and salt. It has a wonderful aroma of truffle. They are cut in larger pieces, so you can enjoy the texture of the potatoes even more compared to potato chips. This potato snack goes well with wine or whiskey. From here on, let us introduce some classic snacks that you can find in Japanese convenience stores and supermarkets. Let's start with the Kit Kat, which is popular among people from overseas. This one is sweet potato flavored. The natural sweetness of sweet potatoes spreads in your mouth. Next up is Black Thunder, which is cocoa cookie coated with chocolate. The subtle bitterness of cocoa and the sweetness of the chocolate are a perfect match. Next, we'll introduce potato chips from Koikea, a famous potato chip manufacturer in Japan. 
It's good with a simple flavor because it's seasoned with sesame oil and salt. The next snack is polinki, which is made from corn. It has a little spicy cut roll flavor, and it's addictive. This is caramel corn, a snack coated with caramel. The sweet caramel melts and spreads in your mouth. The item inside the Pokemon package is a choco pie, which celebrates its 40th anniversary this year. The egg-flavored sponge cake is coated with chocolate. The whipped cream is creamy. By the way, you can enjoy all six snacks we just introduced while staying at home. That's Tokyo Treat, the subscription service for these snacks. Tokyo Treat is a box filled with famous Japanese national brand snacks and soft drinks that you can find in convenience stores and supermarkets. They are the snacks that Japanese people usually eat. The box that will arrive in October contains various other snacks as well. It also includes yakisoba. It's an instant yakisoba that you can easily prepare, and you can enjoy the authentic flavor of rich sauce. The cola is found everywhere around the world, but the one included in this box is a special cola made by a Japanese manufacturer. It contains shikawasa juice, so it has a refreshing taste. Let us also introduce another snack subscription service, Sakurako. Sakurako is a service that delivers traditional Japanese snacks to you every month. It's packed with precious snacks that you can only get in Japan. With a different selection of snacks each month, you can enjoy a variety of Japanese flavors. This is a Japanese twist on the French pastry called busse. Inside, there's a matcha cream with a subtle bitterness. This is yuba chips made from the tofu skin that forms when making tofu. It has a nice aroma of black pepper. This is a cookie shaped like a momiji leaf. The firm texture is addictive. This is a cookie in the shape of a flower. It uses buckwheat flour, so it has a pleasant aroma and natural sweetness. This is a dorayaki. Inside, there's a white bean paste combined with yuzu, so it has a refreshing flavor. This is a jelly with maple and ginkgo leaf motif. The texture of the red bean has a nice accent. This is Iemon's Hojicha Tea, a famous tea brand in Japan. It has a better aroma than green tea because the tea leaves are roasted. It also comes with a floral pattern dish. It's a stylish one, so it enhances the flavor of the food. There are also various other Japanese snacks included. Both Tokyo Treat and Sakurako come with booklets that have information on allergy labels and how to enjoy the snacks. You can get a discount by using this coupon code, so please make sure to use it. These are all authentic Japanese snacks that we, who are born and raised in Japan, highly recommend. Enjoy Japanese snacks that make you feel the seasons while staying at home. Alright, let's go back to introducing Family Mart items. Next, we will introduce three types of bread. First up is the croissant with chocolate filling. The dough contains fermented butter, so it has a nice aroma. The outside is crispy and the inside is fluffy. The chocolate inside is sweet but also has a subtle bitterness. It's the same authentic quality as a bakery. Next up is the curry bread. It was renewed in March of this year and has become even more delicious. It's trending on social media. The dough is fried, so the outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. Inside the dough, there is plenty of curry. You can taste the richness of the beef and the sweetness of the onions. It's a curry bread with a rich flavor. The next one is a sandwich. It's filled with mayonnaise mixed eggs and teriyaki chicken. 
The teriyaki sauce has a sweet and addictive flavor. The eggs are creamy and smooth. This sandwich is highly recommended for breakfast. Now, we'll introduce three chilled foods. First up is the beef stew. It's easy to prepare as you can heat it up in the microwave right in the bag. The size of the beef and potato is large and the quality is so good that it doesn't seem like a convenient store product. The demi glace sauce has red wine and tomatoes in it, so it's fruity. It has a sweetness of butter and it's rich. The beef and the potatoes have been cooked slowly, so the flavor had soaked all the way through. The beef is so tender that you can cut it with chopsticks. It has just the right amount of fat and melts in your mouth. It's recommended to have this beef stew with some toasted bread. The rich flavor of the beef stew and the bread go well together. Next up is Doria, a dish that originated in Japan where rice is added inside a garden. It's topped with a blend of five cheeses, including cheddar and gouda, so it has a wonderful aroma. The bechamel sauce is smooth and creamy. The sweetness of the butter is nice. The rich flavor of the cheese spreads in your mouth. It's the authentic taste you would enjoy at a high-end restaurant. The last one we'll introduce is miso simmered mackerel. It's a classic fish dish in Japan. It doesn't have a fishy smell and the bones have been removed, so it's easy to eat. It has a pleasant aroma of miso. The sweetness of miso and mirin flavors soaked into the mackerel. It uses fatty mackerel, so it melts in your mouth. It has a strong flavor, so it's incredibly delicious when eaten with freshly cooked rice, and we highly recommend it. It's nice to be able to enjoy the authentic taste of Japan casually. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.